make bed times the best times with Bukosmia's good night stories for kids by kids Gargi from Punjim crafts a sweet story that follows Rosie a curious rabbit with an adventurous spirit as she ventures into an unfamiliar part of the forest and faces new hardships highlighting the importance of kindness and companionship i wonder what lies past the big oak tree she thought hopping excitedly through the tall grass once upon a time in a vibrant forest filled with colorful flowers towering trees and sparkling streams lived a curious rabbit named rosie rosie was known for her adventurous spirit she loved exploring every corner of the forest and meeting new friends one bright morning rosie decided to set out on a new adventure beyond the meadow i wonder what lies past the big oak tree she thought hopping excitedly through the tall grass as rosie hopped farther from her home she stumbled upon a path she had never seen before it was a narrow winding trail covered with fallen leaves and lined with strange flowers she had never smelled her nose twitched with curiosity should i follow it she wondered but her adventurous heart couldn't resist she followed the path deeper and deeper into the woods until she reached a quiet shadowy part of the forest the air was cooler here and everything seemed unfamiliar rosie's whiskers twitched nervously just as she was about to turn back she heard a soft sound a rustling in the bushes who's there rosie called out bravely though her heart raced out from the bushes emerged a little hedgehog quivering and looking lost oh hello said rosie relieved what's your name i i am henry the hedgehog stammered i think i'm lost i was trying to find my way back to my burrow but the forest is so big and confusing rosie's heart swelled with sympathy she knew what it felt like to be lost and she wasn't about to leave henry alone in the woods don't worry henry she said kindly i'll help you find your way home we'll be forest friends henry smiled gratefully though his little paws still shook with nervousness together rosie and henry retraced the narrow path but as they walked the forest seemed even more confusing than before the trees grew closer together and shadows danced around them i don't remember which way we came said rosie scratching her head with her paw henry gulped what if we never find our way back rosie didn't want henry to be scared so she thought hard hum whenever i get lost i look for signs to help me find my way do you remember anything about your burrow henry's eyes brightened yes there was a tall pine tree near my home and i could always hear the sound of a bubbling stream that's perfect exclaimed rosie let's listen for the sound of water the two friends stood very still pricking up their ears after a few moments they heard it a faint bubbling sound coming from the west this way rosie said hopping forward with henry close behind they followed the sound of the stream and sure enough the forest began to look familiar to henry soon they spotted the tall pine tree standing proudly next to the stream there it is that's my home henry cried happily running toward a cozy burrow nestled under the pine rosie smiled feeling proud i'm glad we found it you are safe now henry henry looked up at her with grateful eyes thank you rosie you are the best forest friend any one could have rosie beamed any time henry that's what friends are for from that day on rosie and henry became the best of friends they explored the forest together never fearing getting lost because they knew they could always count on each other to find their way and so the forest was no longer a place of confusion and worry but one filled with fun laughter and adventure thanks to the bond between two kind-hearted friends thank you